Bremer. My website is robinbremer.net. And today I want to go over one of my favorite subjects, the armor of God. And the armor of God has to do with prayer. That's why it's my favorite subject because I get so frustrated with people on Facebook that don't know how to pray. And I think that tradition has taught us such a trashy way of praying and just religiously and, and not getting any results. So I'm going to talk about the whole armor of God because it actually is for prayer. And it is my favorite subject. So let's. I'm going to read the scripture to you and then I'm going to go over in detail each piece of the armor. Because I go for a walk every morning. And it's, well, I haven't for three weeks because I was recovering from burns. I burnt myself with boiling water. Got second degree burns on my legs and on my arm, which is healed. Um, i got to tell you a secret about that if I remember uh, how it got healed. Okay, so the armor of God. When I go for a walk every morning, I always put on the whole armor of God. And because I put on the whole armor of God, God keeps giving me more and more and more revelation about it. And it's one of my favorite subjects because I have keep getting more revelation about it. But I've written a, a book about it. It's called uh, Finding Your Identity in the Armor. So anyway, the scripture goes, uh, if I can find it, this is my little confession booklet here that I use. Uh, it's called Confessions and Decree, De Degree, Decrees, and I use this almost every day, and some of my books come out of these little books. Uh, if you look at my books, almost everything in my book is because I've gone through something, I've worked through it, and God gave me the revelation, and the revelation is in my book. I'm still looking while I'm talking here. Uh, i got so much treasures in here. Okay, um... First of all, in 2 Corinthians uh, 10, 10, 5, it says, I do not war against the flesh. I, I'm putting it in my words how I'd say my confession. I do not war according to the flesh, but my weapons of my warfare are not fleshly, but they're mighty through God. They're spiritual. They pull down strongholds, cast on arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And, they bring, and I bring every thought into the captivity of the obedience of Christ, and I'm ready to punish all disobedience. That's a spiritual law. Um, the warfare is basically going on in your head, and the warfare is basically um, the spiritual realm influencing you by bringing situations, uh, commercials, uh, newspaper, wh when, wh whatever your eyes see or hear, they will put in your face um, something that's contrary to the word. For example, if you have a history of cancer in your family and you have a pain or a lump in your chest or something, uh, the first thing you're going to do is... The devil's going to whisper in your ear, you have cancer because so-and-so had this symptom. Then later on that day, you could be going to work. And one of your, you'll overhear one of your coworkers saying something like, Yeah, you know, I have to take a leave right now because my son has uh, cancer. He had this symptom and blah, 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 blah. And your ears are going like this because uh, your mind is on cancer because you heard that. And then maybe you'll go somewhere else. And you'll see a flash on the newspaper that the statistics show that so many people blah 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 died of cancer. And then you'll just be walking down the street to go get a snack or to stop at Burger King. And um, you'll hear uh, some people over t talking about how so and so died of cancer. So that's what happens in the spiritual realm. The spirit realm is always influencing us and speaking things that are contrary to God's word. God, God's word says that by the stripes you were healed. So the armor of God, you're coming from the identity and you're coming from the place of, of you were already healed. You have everything and you're trying to keep it. The devil is not trying to put sickness and disease on you. He's trying to take away your healing because you've already been healed 2,000 years ago. You, your spirit man, your perfect man has everything in you that you need for life and godliness. And the devil is influencing you by uh, putting you putting people in your path to say certain things, influencing them to say um, certain things that make your thoughts uh, not agree with the Word of God. And those are the strongholds that you have to pull down. And by putting on the armor of God, you take down those strongholds. Uh, Ephesians 6.11 says it, and this is um, Amplified Bible. I don't usually use that. I prefer the New King James, and then my second favorite is Amplified. But it says, put on the whole armor uh, armor of a heavy armed soldier which God supplies that you may be able to successfully stand up against all the strategies and the deceits of the devil 
For we are not wrestling with flesh and blood. For you're not wrestling with your mother-in-law or your boss or your husband. You're, con you're not contending with physical opponents, but you're fighting against uh, principalities, powers, mights, master spirits, and rulers of this present darkness. In, in case you didn't know it, rulers of this present darkness, Satan rules this worth, world. He is God of this earth. Because Jesus uh, died, God gave us in the beginning all authority and all dominion on the earth. Uh, Satan deceived Adam and Eve and stole our authority, so he's ruling with our power and our authority, which is words, um, through people. And then Jesus died and took back and stripped him and openly made a show of him and took back all of our authority and gave it back to us. Now, when we see something on TV or the news or somewhere, we're supposed to take authority and dominion over that. We have been given... We have been made the kings or gods or whatever of this earth, not God's supernatural, not supreme God, but overrulers of this earth. So we have to take authority and dominion over the things that we see happening on this earth that are not agreeing with God's word. And so, like I said, the battle is in our head. So let me go on and read this uh, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, put on God's complete armor that you may be able to resist and stand your ground. So if you know somebody who is struggling with anything, they need to see this video and they need to learn more about the armor of God. Because it's saying you're standing your ground. In other words, you're keeping what the blood of Jesus paid for you to have. Um, and having done all the crisis demands. In other words, if you're sick, you can use natural things. You don't have to feel condemned to go to the doctor or to use essential oils or herbs or... Um, any kind of other healing that God put on the earth. He said the uh, leaves are for the healing of the nations. Well, number one is we should be healthy, but if we're not healthy, we can use resources God gave us, but we also can use our faith at the same time. I'm, rem, remind me, <laughs> if you think about it, somebody that I need to tell you the story about these burns and what God told me about communion and what to say. Okay, so let's go back to the armor of God. Um, stand there for hold your ground. Okay, you're holding your ground. The whole warfare is you keeping what the blood of Jesus paid for you to have. Not that you have to take it from the devil or you even have to ask it of God. But you've already been given it. Uh, so, having done all that the crisis demands, stand, stand firmly in your place. Stand there for hold your ground. Having tightened the belt of truth around your loins. And uh, it go goes on. So let me go over some of the armor of God. Uh, when I go for my walk, I say, Father, in Jesus' name, I put on the whole armor of God. I thank you for the helmet of salvation. Salvation in the original language means healing, deliverance, salvation, peace, prosperity, everything. When Jesus paid for our salvation, he paid for everything that... I got a bug flying around here. Everything... When he put us in the garden, he gave us everything that we need for life and godliness. Well, when he died, he gave it all back to us, and it's inside of us. We have everything in our spirit. We have to uh, uh, bring it out through uh, the words of our mouth, through our decrees, through our confession, through our faith, through believing. Um, we don't say if we need a cat, if we want the cat to come, we don't say, uh, here, dog. If you want the cat, you say, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. So if you want something, you have to call it to you. You have to speak it uh, because it's already here. It just needs to be manifested. And it's not that God's withholding it from you. You don't need to ask God for God heal me because he already healed you. It's the devil trying to take healing from you. So you have to come from it from the point of victory. So uh, I put on the helmet. I, I say, Father God, in Jesus' name, I just put on the helmet of salvation. I thank you that you have given me salvation, that you have returned me back to a right relationship with you, that I am healthy, whole, and healed, that I have a relationship with you, that I hear your voice, that I'm seated in heavenly places. I can experience heaven. It's my home. I'm a spirit being. I have a body, and I, my spirit lives in my body, and I have a soul. So I am a spirit. I live in a body and have a soul. So I am seated in heavenly places according to the word of God. And... And I just speak 
stuff about salvation. Then I say, Father, I put on the whole armor. I, I put on the breastplate of righteousness. I thank you that I'm righteous, that I know that I can lay hands on anybody at any time and pray for them to be healed, and they'll be healed whether I did a stupid thing the other day, whether I just sinned, or whether I feel like it or not. It's not a matter of feeling. It's a matter of faith. And I have Jesus' faith. I have his love. His faith and his love is perfect in me. Uh, because I'm in him and he's in me. So I'm kind of giving a mini lesson about a whole lot of stuff right now. I get off sidetracked, I tell you. Um, okay, so I say, thank you, Father, that I am righteous. Thank you that I have a right to healing. I have a right to everything I set my hands to do prosper. I have a right to get the power to get wealth to establish your covenant. I have a right to um, be whole. I have a right to have my youth renewed. Uh, thank you, Father, that I am the righteousness of God. I have the right to everything the blood of Jesus paid for me to have. That is my right, whether I sinned last night or I feel like it or not. That is my right because Jesus paid for it. He wants you to have what he paid for. Then I say, Father God, I put on the belt of truth. The word of God is truth. The Holy Spirit is truth. And I say, oh God, thank you for the Holy Spirit. He is my best friend. I absolutely love the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for the belt of truth, the Holy Spirit. I thank you that I hear his voice. I'm quick to do as I take the shield of faith. And God gave me a revelation about the shield of faith today. It says, uh, he said, well, let me just talk about it, and then I'll tell you what he said. The shield of faith, I say, Father, out of all the armor pieces, that's the one that I think I know the least about. The one that I think I have the least revelation about is the shield of faith. Would you please show me what that looks like? And so I pray, Father, I hold up the shield of faith because the shield of faith, it says, above all, take the shield of faith, which will quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. Wow, that's a pretty important piece of armor that we need to know about because the battle's going on in our head and sometimes you might think you're crazy or, or you're, you're freaking out because of events and circumstances and situations. But if you hold up the shield of faith, it will quench all those fiery darts that are speaking to your head and freaking you out. Giving you a panic attack, scaring you, uh, making your body react a certain way because you're afraid. So the shield of faith, it says above all, take that, it will quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. So the, the, all of the armor of God is the word of God. Each piece of the armor represents another, uh, another piece of revelation or a piece of knowledge or a piece of understanding of who God is, another part of God, a piece of God. And the shield of faith that he showed me today, he says, when you hold up the shield of faith, what you're going to do is you're going to say, okay, like say I'm feeling sick in my body, like my burns. I had I spilled boiling water on my legs and on my, my arm here. I don't know if you can see it. It looks really good now. It just has a little stripe here. Um, and I had second degree burns and I drove myself to the hospital. But what I did, I... I Right away, just dumped cold water on them. Then I put aloe vera on them, and I covered them, and I went to the uh, urgent care because I hate hospitals. I hate even urgent care. Um, anyway, I went there, and um, they hurt bad. I mean, um, the second and third day was okay, but the fourth day, every nerve, I mean, you couldn't even sit on the potty because when you would exert any kind of energy, it would go all the way down to my legs, and it would hurt, 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 because the nerves. And if you, I got up and walked, I, I would keep my legs propped up when I got up and walked. It was really, really painful. Uh, it would shoot up. And anyway, so God told me, uh, so what I did with the shield of faith, I would hold up the shield of faith, and, it, and, and my, my body would say, oh, ouch, 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 your legs hurt, your burns hurt. But I'd hold up the shield of faith by saying, Father, my legs might hurt. But in Jesus' name, I'm not looking at my legs. I'm looking at the Word of God. And the Word of God says, By the stripes of Jesus, I have been healed. Then God said to me, he said, Speak sweet things to your legs. So I'd look at my legs and I'd say, Legs, you are a blessing. Skin, you are beautiful. You are like newborn baby skin. There is no infection in you. There is no swelling and no pain in you. You are blessed legs. And my arm, and I'd, I'd, I'd speak sweet things. And what I would want in my on my burns. So practical application of holding up the shield of faith. And then he said to me, he says, one of my problems, because I, I have overcome fear of, of, of certain things. And he says, one of your main problem is you think that every thought 
every thought going through your head is your own head. And then you get condemned saying, well, I know the word. I know the principles. I put them to use. I know the words. Why am I having these thoughts? Well, God said, those thoughts are not your thoughts. This was a revelation to me. I know that all the thoughts in my head aren't my thoughts. But he said, every thought, because you're a renewed, you renewed your mind, you know the word. And he said to me, every thought in your head that does not agree with the word of God is not your thought. Don't take credit for it. I said, wow, that's amazing. So every time I have a thought that doesn't line up with the word of God, I say, no, that ain't my thought. Get out of here. I take God's thought and then I speak God's thought out loud. And it is so awesome. Instantly, you'll feel a difference. So if I could tell you anything else in this whole video thing, what I want to say is not all the thoughts in your head are your thoughts. If you are in depression, if you have obsessive uh, behavior, if you are into drugs, if you're into alcohol, if you have any kind of pornography, if you have any kind of addiction, um, don't let the devil shame you. Don't let the devil condemn you. Just get into the word and find out what Jesus did for you. And then every thought that does not line up with that, do not think it's your thought. Say, that's not my thought. I'm not taking that thought. The word of God says that I have everything I need for life and godliness. I am free of this addiction. I don't have to take this addiction. I don't, I'm not ashamed. I'm, I'm not going to allow the devil to shame me. I am in Christ Jesus, a child of God. I am loved. And just speak the words. If, if you're in depression, you need to speak the words. You need uh, say what God says. Okay? So that is the shield of faith. Excuse me. I had have to burp there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so that's the shield of faith. And then the last piece of armor that I put on is, this is really, really exciting. The last piece of armor I put on is the preparation of the gospel of peace. Now, I always said, God, what do you mean the preparation of the gospel of peace? What do you mean preparation? And um, he told me a long time ago, he says, the preparation means you know the word, you study the word, you speak the word, you decree the word. Now, the word of God says that the kingdom of God and his peace shall increase. So your goal with the gospel of peace is to take peace wherever you go. And that does not mean be comp comp uh, agreeing with everybody what they say. No, peace means nothing missing, nothing broken. So the gospel of the preparation, the gospel of peace that you put on your feet are that just like Jesus, no matter where Jesus went, he brought peace. If somebody was, if he went, if Jesus went to Walmart and he saw somebody in Walmart in pain, he would go up to them and he would heal them. If he, I have followed so many police and so many ambulances um, and prayed for people and tried to raise the dead and stuff. Because wherever my feet go, I own that territory. I rule on this earth. This is my earth, not the devil. And wherever I go, I want to bring peace. And what peace is, everything Jesus did on the cross is peace. By the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. He, he became poor that we could become rich. He wore the crown of thorns. So that we would be redeemed from the curse of the law and the law of sin and death. He was stripped of his clothing so that and shamed so we wouldn't have to be shamed. Everything he did on the cross, everything he completed belongs to us. And everywhere we go, we need to bring it. That is peace. Not afraid to lay hands on the sick. And, oh, people, please pray better on Facebook. Please get my books on prayer. I'm writing one right now. It's called Don't Just Sit There, Do Something. And it's your supernatural uh, key, your um, supernatural key to prayer, or supernatural answers or something. Anyway, we have to learn how to pray. We are not praying. We're doing stuff religious, religiously, not Christian. We're saying praying. Oh, I hate when people say that. Um, or they say, um, uh, God do this. God do that. God, God isn't doing it. He told you to do it. It's your job. It looks like the sun is over here, so let me move over a little bit so we don't have that sun in the background there. Um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, let me turn that up a little. So, anyway, so get my book on prayer. And uh, the book on the armor of God is called Finding Your Identity in the Armor. And it's a really, really good book. It's one of my favorite books uh, that I've written. Anyway... 
So I'm going to end this. Um, I also want to tell you I have four audiobooks. Three, <laughs> three more are being worked on right now. Um, I just, uh, they just completed my audiobook called uh, Raisins Dead, Supernatural Wine, Angels, and Other Normal Christian Things. And that video audiobook is now available. So that's a really cool one. And then I have Kingdom Confessions, which is an audiobook, is now available. And I have um, two more. Uh, Kingdom, the Kingdom Mandate and uh, um, something else about the Kingdom. Anyway, I'm giving them away free. The audiobooks I'm giving away free. If you would do one of two things, either write a, at the bottom of this one, video or where I posted it. If you would write a review for me that I can put on my website, either about my ministry, how my ministry or books have helped you, or when you get the audiobook and you finish reading it, if you would post a review on Amazon or iTunes uh, about that book about that audio book. Uh, so, I hope that this has been a blessing to you, encouraged you, motivated you, got you on fire and excited for God uh, about the whole armor of God. And if you have any questions, post them. Any comments, post them. Go to my website, robinbremer.net. Oh, I'm giving away a free book every month to, you just sign up on my website, belong to my reading club. In exchange for the free book, you give me a review. And if you're a really good reviewer, I'll give you all my books for free and just give me a review. I love to give my stuff away. Anyway, it's a beautiful day out here, and I hope you're blessed. RobinBremer.net is my website, and I will talk to you later.